analysts tend to be a negative bunch. Um, and, you know, again, the, the game that CEOs love to play is just like, let's manage expectations really low and beat. And I think that's what you've seen so far this quarter. So I think it's going to be better than feared. Um, that's what you're seeing. And I think, you know, the consumer, I mean, Coke's great example of this is Coke keeps raising prices. In fact, they raised prices like 11 percent on all their products over the course of the last quarter, and people are still buying. So yeah, it tells me. This, this is what worries me. I don't know, yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt, but this is what worries me, because is it all inflation? Okay, when we see volumes up, when we see numbers better than expected, is it because they all raised prices because inflation is up? Or is it actual end market demand? Right. I think it's a little bit of both, right? Yes, obviously inflation's up, prices have gone up, but with the big thing you have to look at here, the biggest component is wages are going up over inflation. It's been that yeah. way for like 12 months now, right? So that's basically a function of wages are going up, but inflation is going down. That's a fantastic that's combination. That's kind of like that Goldilocks, um, you know, kind of soft landing or no landing that kind of we've been talking about for a long time that everyone else is starting to like jump on board. Well, right I don't now. know because companies are going to have a hard time if wages keep going up. This is obviously a major expense. Uh, and while you want to see as a yeah. consumer, as yeah. an employee, wages go up, uh, you don't want to see it cut into profits so much that it actually turns into a cycle of a stock market sell off. Yeah, but it's moderating, and I think okay. that's the key here. And like, yeah. I felt the pain. I had to written. I love my employees, but I had to raise their, you know, their wages over the last right. year. But that main hike in wages has happened, and now my business is going up, and I'm reaping the benefits on the other side. My margins are starting to go up, and I think that's what most companies are seeing right now. Look at the GDP out tomorrow, right. and GDP has gone from three point three and a half percent to yeah. two and a half percent to one and a half percent, and we'll get the latest numbers today, uh, tomorrow rather. Yeah, we will. But remember, we thought it was going to be 1% GDP growth. Now yeah. it's going to be 2% GDP growth. Right. Uh, so it's actually beaten on expectations. And that's all it really comes down to. What are expectations? Are they too low or too high? Yeah. And clearly they've been way too low. And these strategies, it drives me crazy. It's like, we've been dead wrong. So let's just keep pushing out our, you know, our, our view on things. And I think it's like at some point you have to admit here, not only is GDP growth not going negative, it's going to start to accelerate into next year. Mm -hmm. We just have too many great things going on right now.